refugees are under attack, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Shameful solution that will be a blight in our nation's history for decades to come. Can you just tell us what's going on? So we're protesting outside here at Villawood Detention Centre because the Department of Immigration is doing a second round of transfers, a second round of transfers from Villawood to very far away and isolated detention centres. On Thursday they took people to Curtin and today they're taking them to Western Australia and Northam Detention Centre and we don't want them to leave. What we want to see happen is we want to see the Baptist Church who has offered to take all the transfers. Uh, we want to see the Baptist Church uh, get those refugees and house them in the community. So High school students here, that's fantastic. <laughs> Not all high school students, but the ones that support refugee rights, I guess. It's, it's about clearing up the misconceptions about refugees, that they're illegals, that you know they have no right to be here, or that you know they're just seeking you know financial gain by coming to Australia. Detainees have been told that refugees, asylum seekers are actually all getting taken out of Villawood Detention Centre and only overstayers will be staying here. And that's because Villawood is an open human rights sore in Sydney. It is disgusting. It is so close to the CBD. It's 45 minutes. People can come and visit, although it's getting harder and harder. Refugees and make friends, relationships. And those relationships help tell other people in Australia that they are refugees, that the government is lying. that we didn't have the numbers to resist the violence of the police. Um, I'm devastated that we couldn't help the people that have been shipped out to the desert today. Um, I think what we've witnessed here this afternoon is the loss of the immigration department. Shame on you! 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 force used, there was a man who stood up for his rights and said no and struggled and Serco put him in hospital. Um, they were brutal, they are brutal, they murdered someone on Manus, they murdered Reza Barati on Manus Island. They are going to push and push until they can re-establish business as usual on Manus Island. We're here to tell them that there will never be business as usual on Manus Island. We are going to make sure that the killers of Reza Barati are held to account. And that's not, it is not just the people that wield the pipes, that wielded the machetes and wielded the rocks. Those rocks were just as much held and the pipes were just as much wielded and the machetes were just as sharp because they were in the hands of Scott Morrison and Tony Abbott. We don't want this detention centre. We want it to be raised. We want everyone in the community who arrives here by boat and who has fled war and torture and persecution. So you know that they have to pay for their stay here? They get charged so much per day. Do they have to pay for it? Yes. Yes. And 90 to 95 per cent of asylum seekers who actually get protests are found to be refugees, genuine refugees. We encourage everyone to get to Sydney Hyde Park North yeah. on Palm Sunday, April 13th at 1pm. In Melbourne, 45 congregations have signed on to Palm Sunday. They are coming along. They are bringing their forces and we need those forces. Why are the police still here?
It's a police state, that's why. <laughs>